Uh, this model kit review is of the Ford Bronco and it is a 125th scale model by Ravel. Uh, there are the dimensions and some details about the uh, about the car. Uh, same picture. Here's some pictures of the finished model. And it uh, looks like it's some nice engine detail there. And uh, let's have a look inside and see what we've got. Box is a little hard to get open here. So let's have a look here. We've got our uh, tires, and these are pretty stiff vinyl, but they've got some nice tread on them, as you can see there. Next, we've got our glass. Looks like we've got uh, front and rear, as well as side. It's all fairly well molded, nice and clean. Next we're going to look at our uh, body here. So here is the uh, main body. The door was molded in. Some recessed panel lines here. Got our engine bay with battery molded in, some little wires and here is our top, it looks like it's going to be able to come off but that should sit on top like that Okay, we've got a number of sprues here. This looks like wheels and probably other parts of the wheels there. Uh, that's the top of our engine there. Here's probably our air intake. Some pipes for our uh, for the engine bay there. Here yeah, we've got our uh, rear axle and the differential there. Got our seats, so that's the uh, front. That's the front seats, and um, probably part of the back seat there. But we all need to find the uh, backs of those seats there to put on, because you can see that it's empty. And here's our uh, side mirrors. Now we've got our dashboard here. There's our steering wheel. Looks like part of our roll bar there. There's a steering column there. Uh, I'm not sure what that's for. And then uh, stick shift there, more of our bench seat. Here's the uh, lift gate here. And then our uh, floor, plan, floor, floor pan. And we go on top of the chassis with our wheel wells there. Here is our chassis. Engine will go here. I guess that's going to be fuel tank. Here are our exhaust parts there. And uh, our leaf springs for the suspension. It's all very nicely molded. Don't really see any flashing or mold lines. Here we've got our main engine block and drive shaft here. Lots of engine parts, suspension parts here. Pretty part of our firewall. There's a fan shroud and fan. And our exhaust manifold and more engine parts here. Radiator, spare, spare tire or spare wheel. 
here's our hood. You can see how nicely that's molded. You can see those little grills. It's pretty clean. Here's the inside of the door and uh, probably part of our uh, windshield. But there's the backs of the seats and we've got a uh, pedal box there. Lastly, we have our chrome parts. So we've got our front grille, windshield wipers there, and uh, wheels, or I guess hubcaps there. Not really a fan of uh, this kind of chrome painting because when you cut it, you've got to then clean up the area in between. But uh, otherwise, they're well molded. Let's have a look at our uh, instructions and decals. There are the decals. And uh, very nicely printed. So, um, some details there about the, uh, about the car. Those are the colors needed. So we start off, start off here with the uh, engine block and build the engine. And then uh, we then mount the engine to the chassis. Parts going on the chassis, including the exhausts there. And then our suspension parts. There's our transmission. Um, with our differential and exhaust, I'm sorry, differential and uh, axle going on there. So more uh, parts going on for suspension there. Lots of little pieces, and uh, it does look like it's four-wheel drive because you've got the um, differential for the um, or dual drive shaft and front axle. Uh, you really do have a lot of detail here on this chassis. Then we've got the wheels going on. And then uh, that's our seat. So that's what that is, that's for the seat. And uh, seats are mounted on the uh, floor pan. And we've got our roll bar, and then front seats, and the side of the cockpit tub is put together, as well as our dashboard, and that's all then mounted onto the body, including the chassis. We've got our radiator, and the air intakes there. Looks like you're supposed to move that. I don't know what that's about. Uh, depending on which year you want to build. And then front grille and headlights, rear lights, and then the. Uh, this looks like this is going to swing open here with our uh, spare tire. Glass goes in, as well as the um, the roof. So I guess you can have it open or closed, depending on which version you want or how you want to have it uh, displayed. And then the hood goes on, and then we've got uh, decal and paint guide. So all in all, it's very well molded, uh, good level of detail, uh, some nice decals, and um, that's a good model to build.